butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves, the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly.
Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. <sighs> wow. It smells... It's, oh boy, it's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. A, a car? Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the bass note. The smell of confidence is the heart note. And the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This'll remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here, there was a breakthrough in the investigation. Ader found Lucas's weapon. Bye here, bye now. Watch out for specials out there. The chemicals turn some zombies into mon- Stir straight from hell. Check out the stalls. They've got all sorts of weird gadgets out there. Man, I don't want to end up drinking my own pee. Someone's got to do something. Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. 
bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. Uh, not at all. I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved mink stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved mink stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see minks scampering about everywhere, do you? Now where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine, at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Well, uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining... Whatever it is that you're wearing, I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await. What are you up to these days, Dave? Tomorrow, I'll volunteer to do the cleaning. She can build the axe. wiped our memories on top of our humanity. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker.
Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? The Pilgrim in the Bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when the commander is killed... <laughs> Till they turn the place upside down. Stay away from the chemicals, bro. Shit will burn you to the bone. <coughs> Everything's 
Someone's been stealing our water, and nobody's doing anything about it. Such a shame. Aiden, I hear you've been to the Outlands. What are they like? The wolf must be careful to lick the wolf from his lips. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. 